Nikki has a question. Is is there a way to download everything, all caps, so you know she's serious, everything on my OneDrive? I hope to collect everything in OneDrive, both on my devices and in the cloud, in one safe and disconnected place. In this disconnected, disconnected, not syncing place, I will reorganize all data, delete, sort, rename, collect in proper folders at all before, again, storing everything in the cloud. From that point, I will be able to decide which data is synced to which of the three devices I use and which will remain only in the cloud for safety. Is it possible or have I unrealistic expectations? It's possible. Dangerous, but possible. <laughs> I mean, I've done I've done exactly this back before I knew how to, I suppose, where because you can just do a right click on your OneDrive and go make it local. So you can just say, you know, have everything sitting so that it's, you know, in 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 local. So then you get your green tick. So you've actually got the cached copy. But the downside of that is if you've got a one terabyte drive, most laptops aren't a terabyte so next minute you brick your device but at least yeah, it'll still be yeah, in the cloud so yeah which yeah, is why exactly. a lot of that content is out in the cloud for some people as well yeah, yeah. and massive files yeah. depending on how you work but because i did you know it was, it was a while back it was when OneDrive sync was having some issues but yeah. i did the same thing three devices wanted to make sure go and re-establish what was out in the cloud and kind of clean things up but you're right. I mean, sync works a lot better now. I can go and look from that space and from the 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 ticks on there, the color ticks, you can tell which things are local, which are in the cloud. Um, yeah. and you don't need to move it all down there, but you can just first and foremost make sure you have the space for all that content and then clean up and then and remove. But I'm you know, again, you uh can you you should be able to do all that without taking that step. Yes. Yes. And, you know, so that's just an unnecessary step. I've seen it. Uh, I've actually had it where a friend of mine did the pull it all down and wanted to do this, put it on an external hard drive. <laughs> and, of course, what happens with things like an external hard drive doesn't take very much to knock it off a table. Lost everything. Because I did the whole, I'm going to pull it all off the cloud, delete it from there, get it clean so it was empty, yeah. put it on an external hard drive, and it was sitting on a chair. And they walked past when the kids tore past and actually knocked the chair straight to the floor, bang. And of course, when was trying to go get the recovery, it's like, well, do you know why? I mean, in this day and age, and with the cloud, you can do all that adjustments quite easily in the cloud, and it will sync across your devices. Then you can just go to your, you know, your your um, cloud. Uh, go to your um, uh, OneDrive, you know, sync client, and then just go pick and choose what folder you want here, and then you can go pick and choose what folder you want there, and just do the choose what you want on each device once you've done your cleanup, because it will just sync and replicate wherever you're going anyway. Uh, the only thing I can think of is the reason why Nikki might be asking this is if you've got a particularly slow internet connection. Um, it may be hard for them to kind of keep up to date sometimes if it's moving just a little slow of taking things and putting things somewhere or moving things that getting a little confused between what has gone or not gone um, might be the only only sort of thing that might come up. So um, do it somewhere where you've got a really good internet connection could be something. But in this day and age, it's pretty good. Well, but again, I, I would say that because I, I, recognizing that issue, if you're making changes right there of what's local and the versus the cloud, it takes time for that, especially if it's a lot yep. of content, if it's a large, large files and things, long time to sync. But again, I go back and say, is like, but you don't need to do that at all. I mean, you can see everything, both local and the cloud in one place and one view, figure out, you know, look in, inside them, figure out which ones you need to delete from both of those locations and then decide where you want them. And you may either move some things locally that are in the cloud currently or move some things to the cloud that are locally current. But you, it, you've got that one view now. Yeah. So yeah. plus per machine, you've got the ability to decide what you want to sync and what you don't want to sync. Right. Yeah. So yeah. if on, you know, on a small, small volume device, you can sync just a few things on something huge, you can sync it all. The idea, though, of taking it offline and massaging it and then trying to bring it all back, that, to me, is just a recipe for disaster. I, I'd almost, I, I, would, almost, I cringe at that. 
And Hal, yeah. I'd almost make the point that it probably makes more sense to move it all to the cloud, then look at your device and say, what do I want locally on those three devices? Than yeah, the yeah. Other precisely. Way yeah, but Precisely. if you try to delete, so this this actually happened. So my um my mom, hi mom, um my mom, she uh, had a photography shop, like a Kodak back in the day, a Kodak photography shop, um and so she's right into scanning. She scanned all our photos, videos, the whole lot. We've all got it, and it's in a um a SharePoint and everything, like all the family, mm -hmm. aunts and uncles, the whole lot. She's pulled it all together, one massive repository. And she was wanting to work on the files and do very similar to this because there's, you know, a lot of different things or replications or the quality of it as she was doing them up. So it was like, well, it's too big to pull down to the local device a lot of the time. So it's like just do one folder at a time because if it is a really big repository and if that's one of the reasons why they're kind of going, how can I bring it all down and put it? But it's a terabyte and I've only got 250, you know, on my <laughs> gigabytes on my device. It's like, well, just do it folder by folder. Bring that folder down, work on the folder um, and then send it back to the cloud and then do the next folder. Because, uh, you know, um, she was trying to do the same thing. Exactly. Like put it all down. I want to put it on an external hard drive. And she also did a I lost stuff too with doing it. It's like, don't, yeah. don't, don't, don't. I've seen a few people do it. It is a really dangerous practice to take it all offline. Um, the other great thing about OneDrive is the fact that you do have a recycle bin that will last, you know, for yeah. months and that you can go yeah. back. If you if you have accidentally deleted it, you can go and recover that photo or that that document, whatever it is, and pull it back again. Whereas an external drive, if you do do that and you put it on external drive, there's usually no recovery. And if you've done, you're done. Yeah, so, that's you know, why I'm, yeah. I make sure with all my important documents that on a monthly basis, I'm putting them on the gold laser discs. I'm having them, you know, <laughs> properly engraved so that, uh, you know, long term storage. So, wow. I don't I don't own a laser disc, disc player, but that's it's something to do in the future. Uh, yeah. to be able to retrieve that. You <laughs> might I you might consider those laser gift. engraved uh, crystal. Yeah. Uh, crystal glass or quartz like yeah, whatever it is around. things that yeah. microsoft was featuring where you laser engrave it and it'll last for oh, how many right. yeah, yeah. million centuries go. is that so, kind of like in superman in his uh fortress of solitude <laughs> and, he, oh, and it turns green be. when you put it in the console is that how that works <laughs> could be <laughs> only if it gives me superpowers yeah <laughs> there you but, go uh, i do have empathy for and relatability to, to nikki's question yeah. When I, yeah, I think we all do. I, I've read through the, the question a few times as you you three were adding your feedback. And I'm like, I'm brought back to when I first started adopting and using Office 365 myself. And it was PC first was my mindset. Like the computer I was using was my home. It was my anchor. If I had a, a, a network drive at work, for example, that was, that was the gold standard. And the cloud was just a... A secondary option for either safety as nikki says or for convenience when i was mobile but as you as i've used office 365 more and i've had like probably dozens of different devices since then the mindset goes to cloud first and so everything is just up there and then i only pull down the exceptions which is the mm -hmm. nice thing about the updates to the uh, the onedrive sync client in the last year and a half um, but having that that cloud first uh, mentality. Now, if you're a business user, yeah, I think you can think that way. If you're a home user and you're tied to that monthly subscription and you're not willing to go long term with uh, a cloud provider like Microsoft 365, then I, I could understand why you'd want to, you know, park it once in a while and maybe retrieve it only when you need to. But uh, thinking cloud first for Office 365, Microsoft 365. It's a good mindset to have. Yeah. Yeah, once I changed my mindset from back in, from original, it was the same. It was actually much easier. And I regularly sit there on my mobile phone and just, you know, go when I'm bored. <laughs> Not that it happens very often, but you kind of go, oh, I really need to just get this organised and moving things around, even just from my mobile phone on the go. So I could do little bits here and there and do it from any device. So I, Or I'd be sitting there and I'm reading my book, I've got an iPad, and then I kind of go, that shouldn't be there. <clears throat> Drag, drop. 
<laughs> yep. and moving things around because that was the beauty of having it on any device is you could kind of just do it and not be stuck in front of your pc forever uh trying to trying to do it too so those oh. times on a train where you've got a you know one hour trip into the city and a one hour back and you're going right let's just get this organized and so yeah done it a bit